Well then, here we are in Plants vs Zombies. Now, I thought this would be Garden Warfare 3, but it's not. It's actually Battle for Neighborville. And I found out this game exists today, a couple of minutes ago, by my good friend that I met in Minecraft, which by the way, if you haven't seen them, I suggest that you do, so you know who I'm talking about. He sent me a message and he said, yeah, there's a new Plant vs Zombies game, and I thought it was the mobile one, which is Plant vs Zombies 3. And he said, no, it's an actual new uh, Plant vs Zombie game, like Gundam Warfare 3, but it's not, it's, it's this. Now, this is this is uh, early access, uh, this is not the, uh, like, it is the full game, mind you, but early access, you know what I mean. And that's one of the new plants, I'll be going over all of them, if I have them available, but that's one of the new plant classes. And I guess that's one of those uh, founder skins that you can get if you uh, buy the uh, early assets. I'm playing as P Shooter. Now this is the default class. See, you're going over. Okay, so that. Oh, okay, so he he can fly. He flies. There's some flower, which is my main class in previous uh, plant vs zombies. Okay, first of all, let me just change the controls because this I, I play inverted, and this is this is killing me. I never. Why did I not? Well, I was not aware that this this game was a thing. Yeah. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm. Yeah. I'm gonna use him assist. There's no shame in that. Don't worry about it. Okay. I think that's good. That's better. Oh, 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 okay. This is okay. This is a new uh, plant class. This is the mushroom. I love the fucking mushroom. I, I think he's going to replace my main. Oh, 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 okay. And now here, here, okay, here's the thing. This little motherfucker right here, that's an acorn. And there's a special trait about the acorn. You can actually turn, okay, three players can turn into one single player, like a single unit, and they all fight each other. I'll see if I can get you guys that uh, gameplay. But yeah, that's those are the acorns. You know what? Let's go. Let's go see the. Let's go see the new plants and stuff. By the way, the graphics looks looks way nice. Like the textures on the plants, they are like compared to the previous ones, it looks bad. It, it looks good. And mind you, this is early access, so expect this to get way better. I right, customize, changing booth. This is where you change your shit. We got pea shooter. Good old chomper. I guess he's just played the same way. You just go around and swallow. Uh, enemies. Colonel Corn. He machine guns for for corns, popcorns. Ah, okay. This is the mushroom. I guess this is the stealth class, and they are kind of like in the same category as Chomper. Well, they don't eat, but they just use melee attacks. I think. Okay, okay, okay. I guess these are customization loadouts, like. You can save customization stuff. At upgrades. Well, I don't have upgrades, so. This is Snapdragon. Alright, this is. Okay, this is. This, okay, this is one of the new ones. He can fly. Well, he can hover when he moves and choose fireballs. I look forward to playing as him because I like dragons. We are Cactus. Charming as always, darling. Cytron. He, he came back from Plants vs. Zombies. Garden Warfare 2, and he's is in a dif okay. Oh, he, okay. Here's the thing. Now they are divided in, into uh, roles or 
classes, if you if you will. You got attack, defend, and support. So I guess these are the tanks, these are the damage dealers, DPS, and these are the healers. Okay, so now here, oh, okay, here's Acorn, and that big guy back there is the big, uh, I think, what was his name? Oak. Okay, I, I think that's Oak and Acorn. Now, in order to play as Oak, I believe you had to play with other Acorns, and all of you, like, three Acorns, or two Acorns. And when you, you guys join up together, one of one of you turns into Oak, and the other one is going to be on top of Oak, acting as a mini turret. Which is cool. You, I think you can mount up to two more acorns on the top. So we're gonna be playing as him. Sunflower, she heals. And then Rose, she is magical. But I'm not sure if she heals now, because I know that they changed a couple things about each class. So we'll be going over that eventually. But first, let's go with acorn. Okay, so how do we make... He's tiny. Oh, that sounds cool. Okay, let's see if we can get all the acorns to group up and get the... Or maybe that's an ability and you actually just... Okay, let's see. Triangle. Oh, oh, okay. So you transform into him. And you, oh, and you can transform back into the acorn. That's nice. Oh, see? Oh, there you go. So I, if we can find another acorn, we will be great. Now while I am moving the main tank, which is the the oak, the player on top of me, pause on that, will be my defense turret. Obviously they can go off by themselves. That is like once they join you in in the top of oak, they can just go back and do their own thing. Which is nice. Now, I want to see if they get ejected automatically if I turn it back into oak. Oh, you know what? That's actually a good thing. You can actually propel yourself into higher grounds. Okay, you want me to turn back? I'll turn back. Alright. Uh, pop aboard. There's another icon over there. Let's see if we can get him to join us. You over there. You know what, this is fun, like, they really outdid themselves, like, in the graphics, the textures, they look great, compared to God in Warfare 2, they look great. Now, there was a character like this in God in Warfare 2, his name was Stump, I think, and he, pre okay, okay, now, he, this is a cannon, but in the previous game, he was like a little mini minigun, and he could turn into fire and shoot fire, but I guess this is him, oh, what's this? Okay. Okay, so based on that description, I guess you can join online matches, but if you wanna go for some crazy adventure, you can just go to one of those locations that Cactus just mentioned, and you will be just be fighting in a big open area with other zombies forever. Like, there's no end to it. Mushroom! Okay, what are his, his abilities? Let's try the R1 first. That is that that looks that look good. That that look cool. So you just throw a rolling steam roll of trees and whoever gets stuck in their path gets squashed. And I guess they just last until they collide with something. Right. Now let's see the other one. I guess that's a mine. Yeah, that is a mine that you can detonate remotely. Yeah. Alright, let's turn back into Acorn and see his abilities. Okay. We got... That's a, like a little dashing attack. And that's the same uh, as... Big oh! The, okay. Dead like that. No! No, stay. Can I jump on you? How do I not jump on you? How do I jump on you? Oh, there we go. You press square. Oh, he transformed back. Okay, so the dash is only forward. Doesn't matter where you're aiming. 
I don't know how they say that. Oh, he's, he's turning into some. Okay. Ooh, let's go. Ah, oh, I want to try this. Uh, this. Okay, I want to try this in, in, in PvP or some other area where there's zombies and fighting. Okay, the attack overheats and the infinity stick will decide the abilities tells you when they are about to overheat. Ah, this is so cool. Stop it! I wanna be fine. I'll be I'll be the stump guy. Oh, okay, that's new. Okay, we're seeing enough of Acorn, so let's just switch to the. Okay, we're gonna play everyone and see how their new abilities uh, or anything changes. So let's start with Pichu. Whatever, man. Okay, so we got Terraform. That hasn't changed. Then we have... Oh! Oh, so he can fly now or hover. Like before, he would just jump really high and move really fast. That's good. And then, I guess, the Chili Bomb hasn't changed. Yep, it hasn't changed. It's the same. What the hell is th oh that's okay I think that's one of Rose's new abilities which I will we will be playing with her uh, a little bit. Okay, there's nothing new with P shooter, but I guess with the because you can uh, install upgrades and I guess they can like in previous games they can change the, how the abilities work. So we'll eventually see that. Okay, so P shooter is pretty standard. The only thing that changes is he can hover now. Chomper, I guess. Okay, he got the tumbleweed. Ah, okay, that's great because before in the previous game you he will place the tumbleweed in front of him, but in this game he can just throw them at a distance, which is helpful. That's great. That's great. We got borrow. Glad that has that hasn't changed. And then we have he seems taller. Like I think he's he he looks taller from the previous games. And then the goop, which is how like in. Is that goop or is that like a little... I will... I'm going to assume that the goop he has equipped right now is like a gas area that kind of ensnares the players instead. Because in previous games you have to hit them directly in order to goop them. Are you transform Can I jump on you, one chomper? I cannot. And I think this is an, it, instead of being like a straightforward shot, it's just arcing. So you have to like aim real well. No, okay. Let's see Karn Corn. He has the butter but. Is that like what is this? Okay, so that changed. That's a new. That's that. That's new. That's still the same, but now he shoots one first and then the second. Before he would just shoot them at the same time. And then the hospital. Okay, that's, that hasn't changed. Now the one that changed is this one, which I don't know what that is. What that makes. I guess it's just like a scan. Because before he would just throw a little piece of butter and then he, air drops of corn will just drop. So that's new. Okay, let's see uh, details. Not no switch. Okay, we'll we'll go. We will go with the. We'll see the something eventually, but not yet. Let's see. Uh, character details. Butter bacon. Yep. Reveals enemies for a short term. Okay, that's new. Groody goop. Immobilize and disarm targets by catching them. In a okay. Oh, okay. So it's the same. The ability is still the is still the same function. They kind of slows and disorients the enemies and they cannot like turn that well okay it just is now in a toxic cloud so i guess that they, they take damage then mushroom let's see shadow sneak disappear move swiftly Repe repeatedly strike oh wait feng fu i can't okay that's uh, his power move that's where he just turns into a mist and just starts throwing punches and then casting shadow hide allies and restrict enemy movement in the shadow dome okay let's try that I 
I thought he would be faster, and he's just kind of like... Okay. Oh, there we go. That's how you move faster. But still, for being standard, like, this moves a little bit too slow for being a ninja. Okay, that's the Charu Dome. So enemies, allies inside get concealed. Oh, didn't reach in time. And then enemies cannot... I guess they get the enemies get disarmed. And then this is the combo. Like he just like pow pow pow. Alright, so he's more like a crowd control kind of deal going on. Wait, you can run? Sprint? Oh you can. So if you if you uh, press down the thumbstick, he 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 runs faster. Or chi. This is a chi, by the way. And jump higher too. Okay, that's good to know. Do all plants have that though? Because I, I didn't check. Let's see. This is... Nah, Snapdragon. Oh, okay. So all plants sprint. That's good. That's, that's good to know. Because before you had to go slow like this and it was tedious. A, oh, there's a corn over there. Alright, so he can throw fireballs. Oh no, wait. He spit fire. If you aim, you throw the fireball. Okay. And then triangle does. I'm pretty sure that homes. I didn't read the character details, but I'm pretty sure that's a homing missile of fire. Oh, okay. This is like a dive bomb. And then this is. Oh. You know what? That's actually pretty useful. Oh, he can hover too. If you uh, hold the uh, jump button while he jumps, he can kind of like flap a little bit. Hover for a little bit. You know, this wall of fire is actually good uh, crowd control. Now the aiming on these, some of these abilities is kind of like wonky, like it, you know, it's, it doesn't feel right, but you know, this is early access, it will eventually get better. Okay, so let's see the other ones. Cactus, I don't think anything changed with her, she just throws potato mines, and then, oh, I don't think she, I don't think she has battlements. Oh my goodness, she can fly! I can fly, but you know. Let's see, let's try the... Okay, this is the drone. Alright, so the drone hasn't changed, still the same. Oh, that did change. Like before, she would just summon uh, airstrike, but now she shoots the, uh, the missiles. That's okay, that's good. Because before you had to like kind of like predict where the enemy will be going to in order to hit them with the airstrike, but now you can just shoot them at will. Good. Nice. And then let's try this ability again. Hmm. That's okay, I guess. Should last a little bit longer, but okay. Let's see, Cytron. Let's see what the main guy do. Oh, okay, so that's new. Uh, before he would just shoot a bunch of these. But now he just shoots bullets, like a little chuck. A little mini chuck. They seem to have guns, so that's good. And then let's see. Oh, that's okay. So they turned this into a uh, new ability now. Now before that was his main attack, so I guess that is an ability now. So you have the EM Pinch, which is a little bomb that stuns enemies, and then you can... Oh. Okay, so that's like the ball roll. Can he switch into ball mode though? Yes, he can. Ah, but he just stops now. Oh, 
okay, that's mm, interesting. Like before, you can just change into his ball form whenever you want it, but now I guess you have to be sprinting in order for him to change. Oh well. I guess the team gets stronger as you know, the longer you shoot because you can see they start really small and then gets bigger. And chill? He has chill. Oh. This is actually pretty helpful because before there was an ability that you would just press once and it would just stay active until you went away or broke, but I guess it's just constant now. You can like keep it up and if it breaks you wait for you to recharge and bam, pop it again. Nice changes for him. Except the ball transfer thing. I think that's odd. Where is so acorn? No, let me see. let me check some capital details. Naval laser. A precision beam that grows in power, okay. That's okay, that's the new the new change. And then pedal propeller get to higher ground by flying upwards. Oh, okay, so the the fireball is okay homes into uh, enemies. Okay, sunflower. Let's see what they change about her. She still has the zombie. That's good. So she would just plant down and beam everything to death. She can have the heal thing. Oh, you can overheal allies a little bit. You can see the yellow bar. Okay. And then, now before, okay, this is the change. Before, she would just put down a, f a little uh, pot of flour, throwing uh, some uh, little some orbs. But now she is the some orb generator. Like, she is the pot of plant herself now. You know, that's actually pretty helpful. And oh, wait. Oh, so she has charges. You can use this multiple times before waiting to recharge. Okay. Now, okay, so dealing, so dealing with Sunflowers will is going to be uh, one heck of a menace now because they can just be constantly healing enemies up. I mean, uh, allies. That thing's huge. That's so awesome. I, 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 okay. I think a uh, Acorn and Oak are the favorite characters of this game now. Now let's see Rose. I think they changed her the most. So I guess she now has a... Okay, so this is Fettle or Phantom form. She cannot get harm in this area. I mean, this is, uh, form. And then she has... I wonder... Okay, that's, that, that's new. Okay, let's read the changes because they they change a couple things about her. Okay, so Jinx now okay before Jinx would just uh, turns enemies into goats in a previous game, but now they just take more damage. Arcane Enigma is still the same; she just gets invulnerable, gets speed, and boosts. Oh, okay, that's okay. That's the new part of it. She now boosts enemy speed, I mean ally speed, before she would just hover around and be invisible. And then Goatify, summon a gigantic gold spell that turns enemies... Oh, okay, so bef okay, so it's the same, but they change how it, how it kind of works. Like, in the previous game, she would just throw a little ball, and whoever got hit by the ball would just turn into a goat. But now, it's just a giant goat that actually just turns everything into goats. And it's pretty big, too. So those are welcoming changes. Okay, so let's go take these guys for a spin. Let's see, can we try? I think I, I think I have to do a couple missions before we get into the other part. Character upgrades. Okay. 
I'm trying to look for ah, the... Oh, the gnomes are back. With pes pesky little buggers. Now I wanna find the garden ops. Like the little horde mode thingy. I guess it's not available yet. Buy capsule. Why do I want a capsule now? Oh, so he's back. He's the one that's used to sell exotic stuff. Let's see, what do you have? Oh, years of defense. Oh, so okay. Okay, so I'm getting cosmetic for for Snapdragon. Flame defender. Okay. Can I see your inventory though? Okay, uh, so I guess now you just collect gifts from him instead of buying stuff from him. Okay. What do you have? Okay, so we got another gift from him. We got coins. I guess we use these coins for the capsule that we saw over here. Let's see. Buy capsule. I guess these are new. These are the... Yes. Now, instead of being car packs, now it's capsules. Still the same shit. Okay, I guess this is where you actually promote. Because we, okay, so in Garden Warfare 2, there was a little hero hall that you can just see all of your plants, and they're oh. I wonder if, if they're back. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna touch on that later. But yeah, before if you maxed out a level of a plant, you could just come here, you know, go to their pedestal or whatever, and then promote them. You get coins and special stuff. So I guess that's this. Okay, so yeah, you reach level ten w with a character, and and then yeah, it's, it still works the same way as before. Oh, okay, so when you, oh, okay, so when you level up, instead of unlocking abilities, you actually get perks. Oh, no, these are, oh, no, these are abilities, actually. Okay, never mind, it's still the same. Okay, good to know, good to know. I can see if we can get something. At all, great. Okay, so we do. And we have seven points to spend. Faster refresh time for all abilities by reviving an ally. That's useful. Rough, rough patch. Spawn with more health after suffering multiple vanquishes in a row. Okay, so this is for people that struggle a little bit in this game. Best defense. Okay, so critical vanquish and you get a defense boost. Up to three, three times. That's, those are good for, I guess, for cactuses? Since they are more like the snipers. Health region. Faster health region. Health regeneration delay. You start regenerating faster. Okay, so those are the perks that I mostly go for because I like to stay alive faster. I mean longer. Faster refresh time for your abilities by earning a critical vanquish. Mm, it's fine, I guess. When low health, you move faster. That's good. Move faster except when sprinting. Okay, so this is for, for more when you're just shooting and strafing. That's actually helpful. Earn XP faster. I'm gonna be using that. Adrenaline rush. Move faster for a short time after by earning a vanquish. Oh, okay. Those are nice. I do have. So let's go with. Okay, you know what? Let's go with Speedy. And then these two. Yeah, that's good. Now, something that I don't see is...
No, I just want to see the the new stuff that I got for him. It looks funny. Okay, so something something that I don't see is variations. So I guess those will be those will be coming later on. Alright, so this is an emo coin. <laughs> nice. Ha! Yeah! Ha! <laughs> okay, so piano stuff going on here. Hey, I have coins. Five thousand coins. What about you? What do you find my just really interesting? The XP machine. I'm getting coins, yeah. Buy some XP from the XP machine. Oh, so you buy XP now. Okay. So I guess this is the Okay, so this is where you buy the stuff. Okay, I got to level two. Oh, level three. Well, we have a lovely someone talking shit already. Okay, so can you get something new when you level up? Upgrades. No, I guess not. Okay, we'll deal with this <laughs> later on. <laughs> what about you? Target range. This guy because you know. There we go. You should just shut up and stop being a little weirdo. Okay, so target range. To get off. <laughs> oh, I just noticed something. So when you are on top of this oak thing, you get infinite ammo. Like you don't have to reload, and you shoot faster. That's good to know. I guess for balancing purposes, they make it so that you have to cool down instead of instantly reload. Since you know, you know, fighting someone while being on top of this guy is kind of tricky. So I guess uh, just for balancing purposes. Okay, let's see the other stuff. 
You know, so far I've been, I so far I like this. Wait, what was this? Customize victory slash. Oh, okay. So now you can change this. Now this is the standard. This is, this has this is what people when you kill someone, this is what they see. In previous game, this is the default one, but I guess now you can change it. Nice. I I look forward to getting some insulting ones that get people salty. <laughs> because I know I do get salty if I kill a lot. You see, oh, there's emotes. Oh, of course there's emotes. I forgot about those. Oh, okay. So, oh, wait. What do we have emotes though? Alright, so we got text now. That this is new and a very welcome addition. Now, where are the emotes? So, oh, here we are. Yeah, this these emotes along with the uh, new victory slabs are gonna be are gonna be fun. Alright, so this is where you go to see new areas. You have to go to a specific plan and it'll take you there. But we're not going there yet. Let's let's finish this area first and then we go. Warp home. Okay, so that's back. Whenever you're in a map, somewhere in the map or whatever, and you need to go back, you just go here and warp home. <laughs> And boom! Back home. And this is... Multiplayer portal. Alright, so I guess right now the only thing available is... Turf takeover. So I, I guess... I guess the... Um, I guess um, a garden... Garden ops and graveyard ops are not available yet. That sucks. Oh, I forgot that I can do this with the this guy move faster. Okay, so those new zones that you see down there, you can okay, so you see all the way over there. That's where the the zombie HQ is. Now you can actually go there. As a plan, I think you can go there, but you will just get killed easily because all the zombies are there. But for example, you see all these areas over here. You see the dam over there. You see that mountain over there, you can actually go to those areas. Now to get to the far to those far ones over there you have to speak with one of these, but if you want to go say to down there you can. But as soon as you land down there, uh, it is a PvP VE zone where you will you will be fighting everyone that chose you chose you know chose up. Zombies any zombie that chose up, it can be a player, it can be AI, you just you just fight. This is to switch teams, I'm not switching yet. This is the world options, I guess this is where you... Oh, okay, so I guess you can select if you wanna go with like online, which is everyone private and this is just you and your friends and then private AI is your friends but with these uh, zombie AIs okay that's good to know Let's see what else do we need to do yay more coins so I guess I can get more stuff from here Oh, fancy. And this is for the zombies. Well, we're well, not playing out the zombies yet. Let's see. I think that's it. I mean, I have to talk, talk to the Swedish helpers, but they're just quests. Little mini quests to get you to know the game and stuff. Let's see. What's down here? Nothing. Okay, I guess this is a good spot to end it, since we just we just went to the basics. But the next one we will actually do go for some gameplay. 
Yes, my big fella. Soon we will head out to battle together. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this little tour of Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. It is new, it came out today, and it is in early access, so expect some bugs and stuff. But don't worry, they will be patching up as time goes on and probably add more stuff to it. So, I'll catch you all guys on the next one. See you soon.